I hate it. Uh, it was always a landmark, and uh, whenever anybody would come and visit me, uh, I said, look for the water tower, you, you know you're right by my house. A landmark in Mount Pleasant is coming down the water tower on the edge of the old village, almost 90 years old. Our tower Jabor is working for you tonight. Residents told her they'll miss the tower because it's about more than water or cell service. After 90 years, a piece of the old village in Mount Pleasant is almost gone. Well, it's always difficult to see a childhood icon go down. Of course, it involves a lot of emotions when you actually see it, but you have enough sense to understand that it's obsolete and this is for the greater good of the town. Damon Fordham says the water tank has special meaning to him and his father. My father taught me how to fly a kite behind this water tower when I was five years old and also how to ride a bike behind it a few years later. And Generations of school children have passed this tower on their way to Moultrie Middle and uh, Moultrie Middle and High School. Walter Brown's family has lived in the old village since 1894. He's been fighting the water tank coming down since 1995. But he says the reason why is because of his experience with the Coast Guard. Very tall land uh, structures uh, are recorded on navigational maps. Uh, to help mariners while at sea. According to NOAA, the water tank is on the national chart that all mariners use to navigate safely. And Walter Brown used to be a part of the U.S. Coast Guard. I would notice it when I would be at sea, and I found it on three different maps. I found it on the uh, Coast Guard map, uh, as well as two of the NOAA uh, maps, which are updated uh, Yearly is. But officials with NOAA say although the tank is being removed, there are plenty of other landmarks to help mariners. Brown says he's disappointed that the tank is being taken down, but he wants the Mount Pleasant town leaders to learn from this experience. I encourage all young people, if you're over 18, come to town council meeting, come to the waterworks meeting, and run for office. Working for you, Tara Jabor, ABC News 4.